So what did you think of that? Isn't that uh, a beautiful cathedral and that grave, the way it's right on the side of the hill, isn't it? It's beautifully simple, isn't it? Yeah. Kind of like myself, beautifully simple. <laughs> Richard, how much did it cost to get buried next to St. Patrick? <laughs> no, I can't. Uh, that I can't answer. <laughs> tried for something really minor. Oh, well. Probably just made it worse. I don't the news all that night. <laughs> oh yeah, we're coming across the screen, isn't that right? With the yes. grand entrance. Yes. 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 That's why I'm, Is that why that's the old, Yeah, that's why I'm the old, yeah, This was the entrance to the barracks. Oh, is it well? So this rather splendid building here on the left-hand side, this is the uh, 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 entrance to a school called Down High, but Sam's just telling me this, that it used to be a military base here, that's why there's that fortification there. But that's a, that's a very grand entrance to a school, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> It makes them uh, pay attention. <laughs> yes. Yeah. The jury's out. 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 The Get into a fight, I'm sorry, go to court, oh, go, to, <laughs> go to the jail, get married in the, in the church, go, go to the jail and get home, all on one street, you get everything you want, everything all you want, the whole life there. <laughs> So that's us saying goodbye to Down Patrick. We're just coming to the outskirts of Down Patrick town now, and we're going to head towards Saul. Again, this is another arduous journey, okay? It's and this little church, now, so I am not a religious person, but this little church I think is really special because just where it is, it's really tranquil. So as I said, it was, and this church that we're going to is a replica. The replica dates from 1933. But you can take lots of nice photographs here and you can also go into the church itself. The church is just sitting there open. They shut it around 4.30 or 5 o'clock every afternoon. But it seems as if it's right in the middle of nowhere. It's fundamentally about three miles outside of Down Patrick. And when you're there, if you look over on the hill beyond it, you will see a statue in the top of St. Patrick anywhere in the world. So it's way on the top of the hill, it's quite a hike up to it, and obviously we'll not be doing it on this tour. But the statue itself dates from 1932, and it was erected to celebrate 1500 years of St. Patrick, uh, the anniversary of him coming to Ireland. By the way, on the way out to here, you'll see some lovely houses. <laughs> Where are you going tomorrow, do you know? I, I just got back, going to the causeway. Okay, like the causeway, it's all right. I just like to get out and about, it's brilliant. Uh, that, that much I don't know, but it'll be all right, I know. Seven R one, I think. No, or is it uh, six and a half? Then? Probably is. Yeah. 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 How did you do 
for COVID, did you get affected with your uh, your lungs? At yes, all? I got COVID before there was the inoculations. Oh, before. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, no. But how it affected me, I got a really, I got a cough like <laughs> it was not as bad as the cough I have now, yeah. and uh, I just felt. Um, I felt really uh, tired for about five weeks. Oh, so I was very but fortunate. it lasted five weeks of being No, lethargy. no, no. I just, uh, just I did, tired. Did the cough itself uh, lasted for about ten days, and then yeah. I just felt tired afterwards. You know, the sort of tiredness that whenever you sit down in the chair, you want to go to sleep. Sure. And then I was sort of going. And I know I'm getting older. Maybe it's that. But no, I think it was the um, I think it was the COVID, COVID. and then, then it passed. And then, did you have to get inoculated after that? Yes, or because so the, you had the COVID, they said you didn't have to get no, inoculated. Uh, the, the inoculations didn't come out for a few months, so I, they, I was okay to take the inoculations, and I've had, yeah, I think yeah. I've had four now. Oh, really? Four? Yeah, you get wow. you get you get one, and then you get a booster, and then you get a another. Yeah, I think that's the way it goes. I've, I've definitely had four. Wow! Wow! Look at these guys. Look at those cows, aren't they lovely? Oh, so, are the young people um, staying up here, would you say? Would you, as opposed to like taking off and going to, I don't know, London? No, people still, leave, people still leave here. You know, so it's almost a traditional thing that people leave. Northern Ireland, uh, Ireland. The de that's why you've got the Irish diaspora. Look at these beautiful houses yes. on your oh, right hand wow. side here. Yeah. I think they're Look especially nice. And you'll get your first view of the little Saul Church on your right hand side in the front of the coach here, just as soon as we come to the top of this hill. People traditionally do leave Ireland to go to seek their fortune elsewhere, but there are a lot of people who do stay here as well. Not everyone goes. There you go, there's the church. Yeah. Richard, your mic's not on. Oh, okay. There's the church there. And so just be aware that we will be stopping on a gradient here. And uh, so again, if you've got any sort of mobility issues or balance issues, just be extremely careful here. Um, we will be spending... If we can all be back on the coach for 12.15 at the latest, that would be brilliant. And look over there on the hill, you can see the statue of St. Patrick there on your left hand side. And these sheep... close to a little chicken supreme with a red wine jus, seasonal veg, mashed potato, and then you're going to have a lemon posset with a red currant coulis and a shortbread biscuit. Yum. It's good. It, it, the food here is really lovely. And also entitled to two, a glass of beer a glass of house wine or a soft drink alternative okay and there will be tea and coffee afterwards 
So if you want to buy any additional beverages, just go to the bar and buy them at the bar. They're likely to do that because they get confused if you add it on to the rest of the stuff. So again, if you're unsure of anything, just ask your servers here. The servers are lovely. And then after you have your lunch, we're going to cross over on the ferry boat. Now, we've got around 90 minutes scheduled for lunch. Make sure that you use the restrooms because there will be no more stops for restrooms after that, okay? And depending on how fast you are with your meal, don't rush it, but you might want to just have a little wander around. There's a little green opposite the q and restaurant. And of course it is uh, Strangford Village itself is on the edge of Strangford Loch, so you might want to just have a little walk around the uh, around the village for five minutes, five or ten minutes or so. It's a really pretty place. Strangford is seen as a very desirable place to live. When you go across the loch to Port of Ferry, it's just as nice, but the house prices are half the price there. <coughs> So a few things about Strangford Loch, it's 30 miles long, it's around 8 miles place, there are 365 islands in Strangford Loch, it's the only marine conservation zone in Northern Ireland, and like I said earlier, it is the largest sea inlet in the whole of the United Kingdom. But because it's tidal, the tide comes in and out of there twice a day. It's host to a number of different types of creatures. There are creatures that, you know, require shelter so they can be in the loch. And then you'll get sea creatures that will come in as well. We need to have a like a swan. Well, I, I do. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're okay. okay. Yeah. So, for example, in Strangford Loch, you can find, in the summer months, you can usually find around 75% of the world's entire population of Brent geese. And they fly down from the Arctic Circle in Canada, and they come to Strangford Loch for the holidays because they specifically like a particular type of eelgrass that is only to be found in Strangford Loch. So these birds are not stupid. They know it's there, and they come down and, and they and they gobble it all up, and then they fly back to the Arctic Circle. You'll also get Arctic starfish in the uh, Strangford Loch as well. Lots of seals. Sometimes you will get uh, whale sharks. You know the ones that swim around with their mouths wide open and allegedly only eat plankton. I still don't want to be in the water with one, thank you very much. We also get orcas from time to time. In fact, about three years ago, there were two orcas that came and they were in the loch for about four days and lots of people were excitedly coming down to the loch and filming them. Uh, they were actually from a pod that is off the coast of Scotland. But they came over here just for a visit, a weekend break. <coughs> you know the way you do whenever you're a killer whale, you think, oh, we'll go somewhere for the weekend. So they swam over. But here, at the moment, and this has been for about four months, there are actually two dolphins. And I was doing this to, well, where were you doing? We Tuesday. saw them the other day, was it Tuesday? We saw them both on Tuesday, so they may well come out today. They Apparently they like the sound of the ferry boat. But if they don't come out, don't blame Sam and I. They are there, but they might just be feeling spiteful today. You just never know. There's nothing worse than a spiteful dolphin. It'll be your fault. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's never there. <laughs> <laughs> And as we come down here as well, we will see the entrance of it anyway on the left-hand side shortly. And it's called Castle Ward. 
And Castle Ward is a stately home, and it's owned by the National Trust, the UK-wide heritage organisation. And you can pay a fee and go in there and get a guided tour of the house. It's in an 825-acre estate. It used to be the home of Castle Ward Opera. And it was also used as a Game of Thrones filming location. But Castle Ward House itself is quite unique. It dates from around 1760 and it was built by Lord Banger, built for him and his wife as a residence. But, and this is going to surprise you greatly, as a married couple they could not agree on the decor and the style. <laughs> So after much spitting and scratching and yelling and screaming and beating each other's heads off the wall, they decided, hey, let's compromise. You have one half of the house in your style, and I'll have the other half in my style. So it's completely unique because one half of the house is gothic and the other half is classical. And that's Castle Ward, and there's the sign for it there on your left-hand side. So again, if you're ever going to come back to Belfast or Northern Ireland again, which I hope you will, that's another place you might want to go and explore. It is worth it. It's absolutely beautiful there. So the lovely little village of Strangford is named Strangford because that's a Viking word. That means strong ford. And the part of the loch that Strangford is at is known as the Narrows. And then just beyond that, is where it opens out into the Irish Sea. So the Vikings were here between 795 AD and 1014. And they intermingled, shall we say, with some of our fair maidens here. And every so often you'll see a big fella walking along and he looks just like a Viking. Strangford Lock is also used for a lot of recreational activities as well, like kite surfing, canoeing. Fundamentally, the furthest end of it is only around 10 miles from Belfast. And here's your first glimpse of part of the loch on your left-hand side. Look at that. Doesn't that look like a painting? Yes. <laughs> 185 miles per hour. <laughs> I lost my license and I can't find it. Who sang that? Thank you. Oh, uh, is it Lights Be Good? Yeah. Two Walls. Two Walls, wasn't it? Yeah. That's going, that's 1978. That was going to say it's way back there. Yes. <laughs> to Strangford Village itself as well, you'll also see a tower house which dates from the late 1500s. A tower house wouldn't have been a full castle, it would have been a place where uh, a local no noble person would have lived. But what I like about the one in Strangford is there are all these houses built just around it, it's kind of like, oh yeah, there's this, there's this really like uh, ancient piece of our culture here, but we'll just build houses around it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Do you know, I really like that song, actually? Right up here. It doesn't tell us what time we're on. I uh, said so a bit half two. Yeah, you're right, it does actually tell us. Sorry, half two. Uh, so they've got a maxi over here. Uh, so it says 205 here. Will I give them to 215? Uh, yeah. Well, 215, they wouldn't believe we'll put a ferry come across. So you want to be sort of on the on the boats. Uh, so nice. say ten, 10 past 2. Yeah. So guys, if we can all be back on the coach for 2.10, okay? 2.10. <coughs> so you've got a bit of time here. This is the queue in here on the right hand.